Hey guys, welcome back. This is Waste back with another video. In this quick video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can use native API from Ionic 4 library. Now, I've, I've given a tutorial of a couple of API in our tutorial series for Ionic 4, but also there's a lot of APIs that are available you could use from Ionic 4. For example, you have a 3D Touch. So if you want to write an application for iOS and you want to do something with 3D Touch, you can go to 3D Touch documentation and read about it. Usually Ionic documentation is really, really great for every API or for every native plugin. For example, here in 3D Touch, it tells you how to use this plugin. So it's basically now up to you to improve your knowledge in Ionic 4. So if you want to go and uh, study further about native API, you can go to any of these uh, API and then go and read the documentation. And so far, whatever we have learned in Ionic 4, you will be able to use any of this API by just going to, the, to the, um, this page and then just clicking on that. For example, the device API is pretty simple as well. All you gotta do is just install the plugins and then import in your module and also import in your TS file, wherever you wanna use it. And then you can call all of these instance members. So you wanna use model, platform, serial, UUID, a version, whatever you wanna get from it, you can use this device plugin to do that. So that's it for Ionic 4 tutorial series, guys. This is the last video for Ionic 4. And I hope you liked the tutorial series. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys in the next series. Thanks for watching, subscribe to the channel, and I'll talk to you guys later.